Hello and welcome to the DLSA, South Africa's number one legal and law analysis talk show, right here on YouTube, where we discuss and analyze local and international legal and law developments and news. We also publish verified live and curious and drop opinions within the Republic, so stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get all our latest updates. My name is Tavo Mokawata, I'm not alone, I'm joined by Samir Kiro, who's a financial law and a business at Tiro. Good afternoon, how are you? Afternoon, I'm well in yourself, Mr. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, a tragedy in, in East London, the, in Eastern Cape, uh, at the Sillery uh, yeah. yeah, Park. Um, what do you know? Uh, what we know is that the country woke up to a, a very big tragedy where yes. we've got uh, over 20, over 70. But mm -hmm. some news reports are saying it is 22 young people that have passed away. Yes, yes. In an apparent stampede in a tavern in Sillery Park, East London. Yes. The name of the exact place they say it's in your baby township. In your township? Yes. Right. So, what the, the news coming out of that uh, scene are saying that apparently between the hours of 3 a.m. until 4 a.m., yes. a stampede took place. It is said that the owner of the tavern wanted to disperse people. Oh, I see. And in so doing, he sprayed something like pepper, pepper spray or yes. something along those lines. Yes. Yes. Then a stampede was no, yeah. people were trampled upon yes. and people passed away. I yes. see. So the the, 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 the spring of the, 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 the pepper spray could it have exacerbated the, the, the eventual stampede or could it have made the situation worse? It, um, it, it, yeah. it did because now witnesses are saying that's where the problem started. Yes, yes, yes. I think that people were already leaving, but yes. they were not leaving in a place that was satisfying to the owner. Yes, yes, yes. Or maybe you have, in fact, if you have unruly yes. young people yes. who are under uh, the influence of alcohol yes. you are bound to have people that will not listen to these instructions now also mr Taylor, it is said that because some reports are saying that there were children as young as 16 years old yes. um, at, the, at, the, at the event which uh, the event itself was, was, was a celebration of two uh, birthday parties of two uh, individuals it was a themed uh, celebration the apparently it was an all black yeah. themed yeah. Uh, by, uh, birthday celebrations uh, but uh, it's very really worrying because of um, uh, uh, the 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 timing is the timing. Uh, mm -hmm. They're sending liquor, but only to find out that their uh, children as young as sixteen years old were present yes. uh, in attendance at the at the party. Uh, what do you know about um, the the law regarding um, uh, time selling sort of liquor to, to to young people? But before you answer that, Mister Tino, let me just say that um, a tavern, any tavern or any place of that that sells uh, or sells liquor, yeah. uh, it has to be licensed. What do you know about uh, about about about, uh, about the, the, the liquor licensing uh, in to, yeah. to answer your first question, yes. yes. Uh, alcohol cannot be sold to persons that are under the age of eight. Of course. You know that. Yes. So if you have people that are 15, 16 years old, yes. as parents, as people, residents of any of any are yes. saying that the people that were there, yes. were people. in fact, reports are also coming in uh, through and saying that even the people that were involved in the stampede, the people that passed away, yes. were teenagers. In the main. In, in the main. Yes. Yes. So that could tell you that you've got your 15, your 15, your 16 year olds. Yes. This is already in contravention. Of a of the right. Now, uh, let me just go into the uh, type of licensing that an establishment such as a tavern or any other establishment uh, can can apply for and be licensed uh, for in right. terms of the liquor act. Right. Now, there are quite a few license uh, liquor uh, types or types of liquor licenses. Mr. One is a uh, transfer a transfer license. This license is granted to those who want to transfer liquor from uh, from one entity uh, to another or to or to another premises uh, to the next. That's the transfer uh, liquor license. We also have an on consumption liquor license where this license is granted specifically for the sale of liquor consumption yeah. uh, on the specific premises where the liquor is to is sold, for example, restaurants. Right. We also have a special on consumption liquor license. Now, this license is granted for special premises where uh, liquor is sold to be consumed or on the premises where the liquor is sold. Examples, mm -hmm. examples of such premises are pubs, hotels, clubs, franchises, uh, action bars, pool lounges cocktail lounges, accommodation facilities, sports facilities, as well as coffee shops and wine boutiques. And right. that is the special consumption on consumption license. On consumption yeah. license. Yeah. We also have a temporary liquor license, mm -hmm. where a temporary liquor license is issued uh, for a short period of time only and to only uh, an applicant that meets the necessary criteria. Right. right? And uh, yeah, so it will appear that the, the tavern itself was licensed by the Eastern Cape Liquor Board. Board. Yes. yes. 
They were licensed by the Eastern Cape Liquor Board for yes. their own, con own consumption yes. license. Yes, right? of course, yes. Yes, meaning that people would go there and yes. people would drink. But that does not change the effect. Yes. And as much as the establishment was licensed, yes. reports coming in are yes. suggesting that there was gross negligence or gross violation of yes. the license itself. Yes, yes, yes. Number one, you're selling uh, liquor to people that are under the ages of uh, 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 18. They're under the age of 18, right? yes. And also the stipulated time for licenses. Yes. Uh, you can only sell liquor between 10 o'clock today yes. until 2 a.m. the and next day. Next day, according to this, this, this uh, licensing law that authorized rather the, the, the term in LOB. Yes. yes. Now we have parents, we have people in the community that are complaining that what happens there is that liquor is sold yes. until way after 2 a.m. in the morning. Yes. Now the incident itself, yes. the incident took place at around 4 a.m. Oh, yes. This would be plus minus two hours after the establishment was supposed was going to be closed. closed. Which is in not direct violation or contravention of the legal license. It's in, yes. it's in direct violation yes. at that time. Yes. You are not chasing people out of the establishment mm -hmm. or whatever. By then the establishment needs to have been closed. Yeah, it needs to be closed, yes, yes. 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 And that's what we're getting from uh, yes. the story yes. of uh, uh, East London Scenery Park. Yes. I mean, if we're talking about yes. uh, uh, 17 or yes. up until 22 people that will pass away all in one night. All in one night. That, 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 that's, a, that's, a, that's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. Yes. It's a tragedy. We yes. even saw uh, the president also tweeted about it. That will tell you that it has also reached the highest office in the land. In the land. You see. Yes. So the law really must look into the yes. establishment yes. and see to it that yes. a, tragedy, a tragedy of this nature yes. doesn't take place anymore. Now looking at looking at, 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 at the consequences of, of the tragedy itself, mm -hmm. uh, is can the, the, the time itself face uh, the time or the owners of the time face criminal action in this regard? The the, the time owner can face criminal action yes. in this regard. But uh, you need to remember that yes. the police have said that they are still gathering information, they yes. are still uh, uh, gathering uh, the crime scene yes. and everything for them to know what type of case or what type of charge are they going to then uh, action. Yes. 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 Mm. But also now, if a, 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 a liquor was then sold yes. after the stipulated time yes. in the license, yes. that, are, that alone is a violation yes. and a violation that should have repercussions. Yes, of course. Yes. yes. No, I see. Now, Mr. Dino, uh, just going back to the, this thing of unconsumption liquor licensing, mm -hmm. there, there's a clause here that, that, that speaks to uh, the premises itself yeah. on which you are conducting business as a liquor tree. Right. Now, it says that, that every such ap application and registration of such a license at the time it is lodged with the board uh, must be accompanied by a, a plan of the premises clearly, clearly showing the dim dimensions of each room of the premises. Uh, all the doors, windows, and counters, uh, and means of internal and external communication, and the, the streets and places, uh, places to which such means of external communication lead. A description of the premises with references uh, to the construction, layout, furnishing, fixtures, fittings, and floor covering, which, descript uh, which descriptions must be contained in a separate document. Now, Mr. Tio, looking at, at, at these conditions of the legal license, it, uh, it appears that. Uh, because what we know is that the, 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 the premises was over capacity. Yes. Yes. And there was only one entrance and one exit. And one exit. That's what we know. Yes. Now, before the, the, the license is granted, yes. such things are have to be considered. Yes. The exit points, yes. you know, the windows. Yes. Uh, in an event that, yes. because if people are under the influence of alcohol, yes. there is no uh, co coherence, cohesion. Yes. You have to you have to assume that yes. these people are not uh, reasonable, reasonable uh, in control of the faculties. Yes, exactly. Yes. So that's why then the board would then say, let's look at the place. Yes. You know, if it would, if it would happen that there is a, a stampede or yes. people need to exit fast to they, yes. they have adequate exit areas. So I'm not sure how this license was granted. Was granted. This establishment yes. has only one entrance and yes. one exit. Yes. 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 This was bound to happen. Yes. This was, this was bound to happen. Yeah. Because of, there are some things that 
uh, the story tells us it yeah. was not followed, even when the license was cut. Now, it would be very interesting to get commentary from the, the Eastern Cape Liquor, liquor Board in yeah. this regard. Um, but just going back to, to the entire happening there, uh, some some of the families from the Senior Park community have been told to go to um, to the mortuary, yes. the mortuary, the Woodbrook mortuary, to just to help identify uh, the loved ones who have now passed away. Because it appears that some of the people that have passed away, or the teenagers, some of the teenagers that passed away, have not actually been identified. Yeah. Uh, so there was a call uh, by emergency services and the the uh, 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 the Senior Park uh, authorities. Just for people to go out there and check if they are, are missing their their loved ones, let's go to the to help identify yes. the ones that are there. Yes, a call was made for them to go identify the bodies because some other bodies are not uh, uh, other bodies are not identified yes. yet. Yes. I mean, I heard the story of one man who had two people, yes. two two of his children that went missing in the same incident. Yes. Yes. I mean, uh, I think you know. The law in itself yes. is there to protect yes. people. Yes, yes, yes. As much as people would not want to follow it here, yes. but the law is there to yes. protect people. Of course. And we should always be people yes. that are law abiding. abiding and I think if the law was uh, was there to yes, yes. in terms of the capacity, yes. in terms of the times, the times, yes. the age restrictions, age restrictions. So, you name yes. it, we yes. would not be talking would about, be about this about situation. Yes, that, yes. That, that's absolutely true. No, we will have to uh, look at it and see how it develops and what what consequences will there be not only for 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 the for the for the for the travel owners but also in terms of the the liquor the Eastern Cape liquor port. Right. Yeah. 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 Anything else they want to look at? Uh, no, that's not, that there's nothing on my end. Yeah. However, we are getting reports coming in yes, yes. and we are going to update our viewers uh, on anything yes. new comes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us, uh, guys, for this special uh, bulletin on the end of any tapping uh, tragedy. Uh, please subscribe to your channel to get more updates. Thank you.